So this is kind of interesting. The vehicle shows uh, which wheels are getting power or torque. The um, blue is the blue is power being used, and then the green is region. I'm on conserve mode right now, so it's only the front wheels. And then if I switch to all purpose, now all four wheels are getting pressed. I can turn them all blue. Which it's interesting that I guess on conserve mode it makes sense that they only power the front wheels, but it's interesting that they don't it doesn't use regen from the rear wheels either. Um, maybe there's an energy advantage to getting all the regen from the front, but in all purpose mode there's a traction benefit to getting more equalized regen or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's just kinda cool to see I didn't realize that's what those wheel diagrams were for, is it actually shows you what power um, is being used. And that'd be really, that's pretty handy for off-road, um, just to kind of know what's going on. Although it would be even more helpful if you could, like, tell the vehicle what vehicle, what wheels you want to be powered. So that, you know, if you're spinning one wheel up in the air, you can tell it not to send power to that. But anyway, so... Cool. All this, all this UI is new. This is um, in the latest uh, software update yesterday. So, pretty cool stuff from Rivian. Uh, really taking it to the next level in terms of um, technicals and capabilities. Um, they're really, really catering and serving well their uh, adventure off-road uh, tech techie type uh, user base. So, good job, Rivian, so far.